Well, I am excited one more time uh, to come on tonight uh, with my good friend and uh, my buddy. Um, man, I think it's safe for me to, uh, to use the language homie. Um, and so once he actually hits his video, uh, we can actually see him. There he is. <laughs> Oh uh, man, now he has to unmute himself. And <laughs> he does all of that. <laughs> hey, we go. The, the excitement is building so strong, man, that uh, you 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 literally made an appearance. That's and, it. Uh, That's it. We got some sound. We got some sound. We got some sound. So uh, glad to be on tonight with all of you, and uh, thank you all for joining us tonight. What's up, AJ from Guam, Micronesia? All right, uh, all right. AJ in the house. Hit that, um, hit that share button for us tonight. Um, we're going to just have some fun. I mean, you know, we don't uh, intend to be before you long, but we just kind of want to enjoy each other and just okay. have some fun all week long. It's about having fun um, since you you're home uh, with your uh, with your uh, with your teens, and your teens are home with you. Uh, some of you may have some extra visitors that you've kind of brought in to make sure that they stay safe from this COVID-19 um, crisis that's going on. And uh, all you guys are bunkered down together. And uh, since we're going to be together, we might as well have some fun, you know? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so for, for this week, we have every intention of just having uh, some fun. Hey, hey, AJ, forgive me, man. Pompeii. Pompey, he's like, man, listen, don't don't say I'm from Guam. I'm from Pompey. <laughs> so thank you, AJ. Good to hear from you, bro. Uh, we can't wait to get back over to Guam and hang out with you some more. So uh, hit that share button for us. Um, those who are joining us tonight, we will be much appreciative. Um, but I'm on tonight with my good friend and hey. brother uh, from another mother. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, good, the good pastor, the good pastor, um, Pastor Wayne T. Hewlett. Oh, uh, good to be on man. Yeah, anytime you ask him um, his last name, he says Hewlett, like Hewlett Packard, you know. HP. Uh, I, I believe he got a little of that Hewlett Packard money, too. So that's, that's why he oh, likes referring to it. But uh, yeah, thank you all for being on with us tonight. We're both on on. Um, North American Division Youth Ministries uh, Facebook page and our new YouTube channel. And uh, that is posted in the thread as well. Go on over there and hit that subscribe button for our YouTube channel. We'll be much appreciative. Let people know uh, because uh, we, we, we are not just in this space for the moment, but we have moved in. We're making this space our new residence um, to share resources and uh, information with you going forward from the North American Division Youth Ministries Department. Happy to have um, our sponsors who uh, support this, our lead director, uh, Dr. Tracy Wood, and uh, my associate, our associate youth director, uh, Armando Miranda, who will be joining us later on in the week, um, and our secretary, Gail Murray. And uh, we even have our tech that works with us to kind of make this thing happen, uh, Kevin Watson. So thank you all for being on tonight. Uh, good to see you, Faye Davis. Um, thank you all. Hit that. If you all will hit that share button for us, uh, we'll be much appreciative. Uh, I think you're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to laugh a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Anytime okay. I get on with this guy right here, we find something to <laughs> laugh about. That's right. And, That's right. And I, and I know most of y'all want me to say something to him about this jacket and this T-shirt. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that yes, later. Sir. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. He, he's representing with his uh, momentum gear on, and so I, I, you know, what I'm saying, uh, in the in, in the words of one of our colleagues, I ain't mad at nobody. You know, what I'm saying, exactly. I ain't mad at nobody. You you're doing your thing. So it is time for us to start. Thank you all for being on. I'm so happy and excited to have each of you on with us. If you would, hit that share button for us so that people will know we are on tonight with Pastor Wayne T. Hewlett in our Momentum Series, Fun Ideas. And that's what we yeah. want to talk about tonight. Pastor Hewlett, what's going on, man? Hey, hey man, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful day in Florida, man. I'm loving it. I'm glad to be here. Uh, just wanted to let you know, I wanted to make sure I represented 
momentum. <laughs> there you go. But I could not go without uh, repping Florida as well. So I had to coordinate. I had to coordinate. So, so we're coordinating, man. We're coordinating, making sure this thing is right. <laughs> well, rub it in that you're in Florida and oh, yeah. uh, sure that the temperature is about, what, 35 degrees in Florida? Yeah, man, about uh, a little bit higher than that. Just a little bit higher than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you got good weather down there in Florida, 80-something degrees? Uh, about 88. Wow. About 88 today, man. 88 degrees, man. Yes, sir. To be Old to be in Florida, but I'm okay. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. I'll I'll hold it down here on the East Coast. Hey, listen, let's have a word of prayer and uh let's let's get started for tonight. Uh let's talk to Jesus. Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity for us to get on and uh just have fun this week. Um and we pray as Pastor Hewlett shares with us uh some fun ideas. Uh, we pray that we would take these to heart because laughter doth good like medicine, good medicine. And so yeah. We just want to have fun with our family and our teens this week. Um, bless our time together in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you all again for being on. Hit that share button for us and let people know that we're here tonight with Pastor Wayne T. Hewlett. And uh, Pastor Hewlett serves as the pastor of the Port St. Lucie Church and um, the Fort Pierce Church uh, down in That's South right. Florida. That's and right. uh before that, he was serving as a pastor of the South Nashville Seventh Day Adventist Church in Nashville. And yes, preparatory to that, he was a associate youth director of South Central Conference of Seventh Day Adventists, camp director for Camp Thunderbird. Camp Thunderbird, and yes, sir. Just, just a bag of ideas. And uh, man, I, I couldn't think of a better person to come on tonight with just to talk about having some fun. Yes, and sir. so we want to challenge all of you who are with us um, tonight. Uh, don't be so serious. Don't take this thing so hard and harsh. I mean, it's already a challenge with dealing with, with this COVID-19. And I think if you're going to be indoors and be with family members, uh, you might as well have some fun while you're doing it, you know? That's That's and so we've had a lot of spiritual stuff, a lot of great resources that we've shared. But tonight, we just want to have fun. So Theodore Abner is with us. And so... Um, Doc, talk to us, man. What are some things we can do to have fun? Talk to us. Oh man, oh man. Like, like most of us, we're already just we're we're pulling out our hair. We're around each other. We're like, oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? What kind of things we got? The kids looking out the windows and the blinds, asking every few minutes, when are we going to the store? When are we gonna be able to go here? When we? And and I just want you to think for a moment. We're in Florida. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Disney, Disneyland is not, Disney World is not that far away, man. It's uh, yeah. Disney right up the road and all these other uh, uh, water parks and all of that. And so yeah. when I'm sitting here saying, well, what things can we do? I mean, I think I hit my lowest when I said, uh, my daughter said, well, I want to go to the water park. I want to go to the water park. And I was like, uh, we can do the same thing here. She was like, how are we going to do that, Dad? So I went <laughs> in the garage and got a tarp. I went and got some uh, 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 um, some of the uh, dishwasher liquid from the uh, uh, from the sink, and I got my water hose, and I opened up the tarp, and I put it on a little hill at the in the front of the lawn, and I, I just started making it real slippery and wet, and said, "Hey, get just run and go, run and go, just like the water Slip park." See? <laughs> Slip and slide. All right. Slip and right. slide, man. Slip and slide. That's, that's, that's quite low budget. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and we, we got to use everything that we have. And I know that there's a lot of people that are just trying to figure out, parents who are trying to figure out, man, what do we do during this time? What kind of what kind of things that, uh, can we do? I kind of I got sat down and, uh, and kind of brainstormed with, with, with my daughter. And, and we all just sat down as a family and said, well, what, what kind of things um, are, are really working? You know, we, we can punch up some things and look at things, say do a puzzle or anything like that, but we kind of started breaking things down a little bit yeah. to kind of give you a, a, I guess, a little smorgasbord of things mm -hmm. that you can possibly do. But I can tell you now, uh, Pastor Griffin, we both we broke it down, Van, in a like education, uh, spiritual, yeah. uh, the tech side, because you know the kids were like, "Dad, you got to have some dealing with tech," and then they were kind of yeah. artsy too, some some artsy stuff. And then we said maybe the outdoors because you know a little fresh air front yard yeah. and backyard so so man cool. I, I like i could give a few ideas just just start with some of those those categories and just a few ideas 
of what you can do. I think that'll really work. Um, most of our most of our families are homeschooling right now. Um, yes. You know, they're homeschooling. So this is a it's a different kind of platform. Everybody's trying to learn what the teachers are telling us. So the parents have now become the school teacher and the parent and everything else, the lunch lady, everything. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're the PE teacher, you're the whole nine yards. But one of the things my son, he was asking, he said, you know, I really wish we could go. I miss my field trip. I missed the field trip that mm -hmm. we went on. So man, mm -hmm. we started thinking about that. We said, well, what, what are some things we can do um, at home for field trips? Now we just found out that a lot of the museums, like the Louvre over, uh, uh, the Louvre, and uh, you also got the uh, Yellowstone Park, uh, a lot of the zoos in the area here in Florida, they have opened it up and they've allowed you to do virtual tours. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah they, so in your state, wherever you may be joining us from, wherever you're at, um, just know that, you know, France, uh, uh, all of these different places, different countries have opened up uh, different places where people have dreamed of going to uh, and said, listen, mm -hmm. you can join for a virtual tour. And I know for here, I know in Florida, I can't speak for everywhere else, but the zoos have tours where they will give you a live guide. Um, the guide will join you and say, hey, listen, let's go. Hey, you, he'll explain what the animal is and where it came from, its name. And then they'll keep walking through. And man, the kids are just glued. They're like, oh, wow, where are we going next? And they're going to see the lions or here's the elephants. Or, you know, so... We do know that, that that does help. It takes up a good portion of time, and it also gives the kids a lot to talk about. I love it. I love it. Virtual tours. Um, I want to say that, um, yeah, I actually think that uh, someone mentioned that yesterday. So this is a great reiteration. Virtual tours. Get a chance to go somewhere that you've always wanted to go. And uh, it's not costing you anything but a little time. And uh Sit down in front of a, a good screen and go for it. And you, hey, and you can provide your own snacks for free. You know? That's it. That's it. I mean, man, take, it, take advantage of these tours, man. And uh, I know somebody. I know somebody. I'm kind of talking to him right now that loves cars. Um, yeah, loves yeah. all kinds of cars, yeah. older cars, vintage cars, all of that. Yeah. Listen, man, yeah. meet them and all of these other places have opened up. Uh, a lot of these auto um, museums have opened up to show you some vintage cars. I mean, there's just a whole bunch of different areas that you can just say, hey, listen, I wanna punch into virtual tours wherever you're going. And the kids, you know, again, wherever the kids feel like they really wanna go, uh, again, if they're into museum and art and different things like that, depending on age groups, that would be a great way to do something. Education, we, we say under that education piece. I love it, I love it, I love yeah. it. So then we, what else? Then, we, then, we, then we kept going, man, we said, you know what? We hear this, but let, let's let's do something under, you know, we want to make sure we have something as far as art. You know, I have a daughter's man, she's artsy. I call her artsy. That's my artsy child. Um, yeah. She loves to do all of this different art. Um, so she was telling me, she said, you know, dad, we can make paint. And I was like, make paint? How do you, I mean, make paint. And she starts telling me, showing me how to make paint, different paint. She's using rosebuds and flowers that are outside. She's making like, there's some yellow flowers. She brought them in, dried them up. She crushed them up, put a little bit of stuff together. And the next thing I know, man, we, we're looking at, we're looking at actual paint in front of us. And I was like, man, this is awesome. I was like, you did this? And she was like, yeah, man, we can do this, dad. So she actually yeah. made some paint and all of that good stuff like that. And, and, and under that art too, because some families, this is another thing. As parents, we want to do a little bit since we're already inside, I'm like, man, there's yeah. a lot of stuff I need to clean up out of my, my, out of some of the drawers I have. Man, I've got some closets that are just filled with uh, uh, all kinds of stuff. So, man, we said, what would it be if we took and sat down for a scrapbooking night and let the kids go through old photos that we have? Now, you know, you know, the big photo books that we have that's in there, got all them old pictures of us, man. We, we right, don't, right. the kids, the kids, listen. Every one of our children are into this, into the phone, you know, Snapchat and, and Instagram and all of that. Man, right. we can put this off to the side. Let me show you some real pics. Let me show you some real pics. And man, the kids start, listen, you will be amazed. If you pull out your old pictures and you start yeah. looking at some of the places you've been before and you say, yeah. man, look at these pictures right here. And some of us, man, our hairline used to be right here. Our hairline is now back here. <laughs> it used to be dark black. 
Yeah, that so some of us, man, we used to do like this. And man, we had all kinds of stuff. And man, the kids get a kick out of this. The family sitting down, you're pulling out those old photos and you say, man, let's put this together in this little scrapbook. The kids get to do something. Matter of fact, man, can I share one that we found, man? I just, now this was back when I was younger in, the, in my younger days now. So I'm, I'm being very right. transparent. This is way, way, way <laughs> back, you know, before. Uh, uh, not, nothing horrible, but just, you know, this is before I actually came into the faith and everything. And man, I, share it, man, share it. All, all of these disclaimers, just share it. This all right. The, the here, people here, want to see. Help here, his moody here, want to see. Here it is, man. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> so oh, then, man, let me just tell you, man, just in, in, in light of the fact that, you know, it's around that kind of season for all of us that are joining us that, that that are that are in the valley of decision, <laughs> but you're still picking up baskets. Hey, man, listen, this is me. Our kids saw this. And they're like, Dad, who is that over us? And hey, listen, somebody said I was social distancing in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Listen, wow. my sister, my that's my sister, man. We took that. We just, I mean. Listen, just on that one photo, you can spend, man, you can spend a half hour on that one photo just laughing about those times, man. So so for that artsy kind of side, man, pull out some of those old photos, go back and look and say, man, this this is, what, and, and they're going to look, they're going to be like, dad, is that you? And, or wow. mom, was that you? You know, I, I think it's a great idea. And then again, it helps, you know, you're trying to declutter and a lot of things. So man, that works out. So that's the artsy side. That's a little bit of the artsy I love side. that. Now, you know, let me say, man, um, I got so inspired by that photo. <laughs> I'm sure I got some photos that Kaylin hasn't seen yet. Yeah. Uh, but you know, the thing that came to my mind when you showed that photo is my oh. high school senior book. You know, for those who are watching, um, if you didn't go to academy and I didn't graduate from academy. Um, so I graduated from public school and I actually have a, uh, a yearbook or whatever you call it, your senior book, whatever. Absolutely. But uh -huh. man... I'm sure there's some stuff in there that I have not visited since I graduated high school. Uh, <laughs> there may be some photos in there. I don't know. But I think tonight, uh, just for fun, I'm going to bring that book out and sit with my daughter and my wife. And we'll see, <laughs> we'll oh, see man. how this goes. You talk about a good time. You talk about a yeah. good time, man. The folks, man, the family going, they're just going to like, man, this is amazing. And be, they'll be, the kids will be like, you wore this back in the day? And you're like, yeah, this was, this was the style then, you know? So, I mean, yeah, yeah. So get a chance, man. It, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely I worth it. So, it. so, so, so let me jump over real quick, man. I know, I, but I want to jump over to that side that says that we, we need to be technical. Because we know that our kids, man, if they if we don't make up fun for them, they'll get on there again, pull the phone up. They'll come up with all kinds of, there's enough uh, material on, on all of these different social media platforms that by the time they finish scrolling their thumb, they're going to have carpal tunnel, man. Just, <laughs> just, yeah, right, right. Just, just trying to yeah. do that, man. So I just thought about a, a, a few of them, but like Snapchat scavenger hunt was one of uh, the one my daughter brought up. Like Snapchat scavenger hunt. Now, this is the thing. My daughter has, we've got all kinds of stuff around the house, all of these different things like that. And she just made up a list and said, if you make up a list of things that are, that you need to find and the one who gets all of the things, the items first with the scavenger hunt around the home, outside of the house, wherever it may be, that's the one that's going to, that, that's going to actually win with the scavenger hunt. See, we, we talked about that. We thought it was really good. But another thing that I thought was really good, and, and listen, I can't take credit for this one. I definitely can't take credit. But here, yeah. I do know that the Pathfinder uh, uh, district director, so she said, listen, uh, we need to do something here. So what she started doing is she started taking pictures of native plants that are here, and different plants that are outside. And she put a list of them and she started saying, listen, anybody know what these are? Just had, you know, just had a little brain fun where they were saying, hey, listen, who could be the first to name what this is? Now, yeah. I said, how can this be relevant to our young people? And listen, our kids know people that are in Germany, 
that is Snapchatting with kids and in Japan, all of these different things like that. Man, wouldn't it be amazing that if they went to their backyard and say, hey, listen, in this group right here, we're going to figure out what this is. And they started doing, you know, different plants or flowers or or whatever, or, or different structures that they have it, that's native to them and see who would be the, you know, in the group to try to figure it out. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, I mean, and I thought it was an amazing, you know, that they could connect with each other and they learn a little something, you know, um, listen, I didn't yeah. know, man, that uh, there's a difference in Florida between uh, a, a palm tree and a coconut tree. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> I would have, hey, listen, when I moved into my house, I moved in with the understanding that, man, when I move in here, I want to move someplace that has a coconut tree. So, yeah. man, when I moved in, I saw these two pretty coconut trees in my front yard. I said, that's it. I got it. Yeah. I'm, I got coconut tree. I'm bragging the family, doing everything else. I got coconut trees. Yeah. Man, yeah. for months. I mean, months, uh -huh. man. I didn't see nothing on my coconut trees, man. <laughs> I was like, what's going on with my coconut tree? I thought I moved into a bad area. Man, I finally yeah, yeah, invited, yeah. I asked the deacon. He came over to the house. He pulled up. As soon as he got out the car in the driveway, he started laughing. <laughs> the pasta, these are not coconut trees. <laughs> these are palm trees. <laughs> palm trees, my, my, my. Palm trees, man. Palm trees. So, man, uh, hey, listen, so I didn't know, but now yeah. I've learned, man. I know that there are all kinds of Mongols down here. And I, I mean, it's just really good that you can connect on that level and be able to have that scavenger hunt and do that. Wow, I like it. Snapchat scavenger hunt. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I love it. Yeah, it actually, and, and uh, just just another thing that she brought up, she she brought up this thing where uh, in in uh, iBrain.com is has a lot of different activities, but they have this one where there's like thirty sentences, and in each one of the sentences, uh, it spells a fruit. There's a fruit in the sentence that it actually spells out, and you but but you don't see it. You know, it's just, it may say something like, I went to the football game Saturday night, you know? And then mm. in there, some of the words combine, if you just move them all together, they'll combine to make a, uh, and, and it challenges you to find the fruit in the sentence, you know, it, it, it just runs on and you got to combine it all together and, and figure out. So, I mean, that's just, you know, for some techie, you know, for some of our techs. Yeah, I, I don't know if my IQ is going to go that high, man, to, to figure that out. <laughs> Listen, but I, I love I, that idea. I, I tried that. sentence one, but I just gave you, I said, no, nah, I don't see anything. I don't, I don't see it. Yeah. I'm looking for simple words like plum, uh, apple, <laughs> pear. Yeah, you know there you saying? go. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. So, yeah, but it was good. So, and, and then here, here's another, um, here's another thing, and I think this is important, too. When we talk about those times together, because listen, we're all together. Sometimes we need to spend this time um, just, you know, kind of getting, not to get to know the family. Everybody knows each other. The kids know each other. But like you said, to have some fun while you're in this kind of condition, while you're here in this kind of setting. Um, but this is something that we used to have at uh, Camp Thunderbird. And we kind of kind of draw drew it back up and said, let's try this. Um, but uh, have a theme night. Have a theme night. So, so, man, so in your home each week, you can just say, hey, listen, guys, on, on uh, Thursday night, we're going to have uh, we're going to have Mexican food night. Um, you know, yeah. that we're going to make something we're going to and you just get the place kind of set up, let the kids kind of set it up with some themes of themselves. You know, they can do whatever they want to do. Uh, you can set it up for different countries, however you want to set it up. So that that night, all everybody's in the kitchen. They're making their little specialty, what they want to make. And somebody likes uh, burritos. Or, and you can have an Italian night. You can have a Japanese night or Chinese night. You know, whatever, you know, your favorite food that you really enjoy. West Indian night. You, but everybody, all the kids can get in and they can kind of make what they want to make. You know, their specialty. And then you bring it all to the table. You have a little background music playing for that night. I mean, it just kind of really sets the atmosphere for everybody. I love it. I love it. I love it. So you can actually have a theme game night. So whatever your whatever your games will, will be, you do the food um, to kind of match that and uh, put in a little elbow grease, you know, during the week to kind of plan it out and then go for whichever night you plan to have game night. I like that. 
Absolutely. And listen, man, the last one, it was the last group. I know we're on our time. We want to make sure we're in there. But listen, we don't want to say that we're having all fun and none of it's spiritual. Okay. So we want to make sure that we say, hey, listen, there are some things that we can do that are spiritual. So, uh, you know, I started it. The, you know, the kids were giving me different things. They're like, hey, dad, Bible charades and online spiritual thing. And they've even got on, on churchleaders.com some things that you can use to help you with memory verses. And I was like, yeah, those are good. I mean, I, you guys you guys really like those games? And they're like, eh, well, we kind of, if we have to play, we'll, we'll do that. And I said, they said, what do you do? What, do you, what kind of things can you think of? And I started thinking of some of the old, uh, um, and I hate to say it, it's not even old, man. So I don't want to start dating myself and saying I'm old. This is my this is my shelter in place beard and haircut. So uh, the gray is just yeah. But listen, some of the game shows we used to watch. You remember this game show called the Hundred Thousand Dollar Pyramid? You remember yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. And, he, and then the person had to describe. Uh, uh, a particular, they got a card and they had to describe what was on the card without using what the actual answer was. And then yeah. the little tile would turn and you would start yeah. from the three tiles on the bottom and then the next one until you got all the way to the top. I started thinking mm -hmm. about that. I said, man, if we applied that to some of the things, just say, hey, listen, you've got to describe um, uh, all the things that took place uh, while the children of Israel were in the desert. You know, and you just use 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 a particular. You know, you could use uh, a particular. You know, whatever they did, crossing the Red Sea. You know, uh, and 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 then you have to describe it, and you could have like a little game show uh, type thing. But at the same time, it gives a spiritual lesson because they're like, oh man, it kind of reinforces what our young people have learned, our kids have learned in Sabbath school and uh, through children's story, all of those different things like that. And, and, and it kind of gives them things that they can kind of keep connected spiritually as well. I love it. You know, that game, man, uh, used to scare me, though, because they have you strapped in like you're in an electric chair because they don't want you using your hands. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> I, uh, I see I see Matt Weber has joined us. Matt, don't think ill of me. I'm not, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just saying that's the picture I have in my mind. You know, you, you, they make you sit there. I mean, because it's easy to want to use your hands, you know. Right, so, so right, should, right, yeah, right. Like you know, electric chair or something, man. But yeah, that, <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 an amazing game as well. All right, cool, man. So just hit me up again with those. Uh, oh gotta, man, so virtual virtual tour for education uh -huh. for anything you're gonna do education. Look, search your um, state. And it doesn't necessarily just have to be your state, but put in there virtual tours for the state of uh, uh, Alabama, state of California, whatever. See what's available to you, places that they're offering it. And if you, like I said, if you want to do the Louvre in Italy or France or, or uh, the Eiffel Tower, that you know, all those things are available uh, where you could you could get online for free and take the virtual tour. And, and then for as far as the uh, artsy, you know, I talked about the making the paint you could you know uh some of the kids you know they really enjoy doing some of that you know making those things uh being creative in that sense but the scrapbooking oh man start breaking out some of those old picture books break out that high school yearbook yeah matter of fact for some of us break out your college yearbook uh yeah. <laughs> some of us it's been a while but break that out and take a look at some of those man and uh, let me keep go through and look at some of the folk. The you know all they're doing is sitting in that in that in, that, in those uh, in those little things that you cover with. But scrapbooking, yeah. let the kids do that and get and get into that. For the tech, uh, let's look at the Snapchat scavenger hunt. Uh, really yeah. works out. You know, uh, connect with people that are not in your state, not even in your country, uh, with the scavenger hunt. Also, don't forget the uh, um, don't forget the theme nights with the family. Families sit down. Let's say, hey, let's have a uh, let's let's have a, a Italian night, or and everybody gets to cook their favorite dish. You know, get let the kids get in there and start making a little bit of mess. Now I'm not responsible for the cleanup, so I don't want to deal with all that. But 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 and even if you have it, you want to say, hey, listen, we're gonna make some desserts. All of that, all of the things that you can look up and you can just say, everybody pick one and then you make it. Uh, and then for the spiritual side. Think of the things, some of the games uh, are that we used to watch when we were younger, you know, whether it be Family Feud or whether it be $100,000 uh, uh, Pyramid, $100,000 Pyramid, and, and talk about those things. And then and use those and apply those things so that our kids can, can get those key things and it can still yet be fun. Uh, the key is, is that with all of these things, 
our, our, our young people and our youth can actually take and and they can take this uh, right here, the phone, yeah, and they can put it down. And and you want to you want to preoccupy them with some of those things that we talked about. And if it's nothing more than just for a couple hours to spend that time mm -hmm. and, and fun. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it from my homie, my friend, my dude, <laughs> Pastor Wayne Hewlett. This is a few. These are a few ideas you can use to have. F U N. That's what we're all about this week. All about having fun. Uh, Pastor Hewlett, thank you so much okay. for sharing you, those uh, those ideas. Those those were amazing. Just uh, by way of uh, announcing, I'm gonna share my screen with you real quick. Um, just want you all to be aware of what's coming up here uh, on tomorrow. Again, we thank Pastor Hewlett for being with us tonight. Uh, but then tomorrow night, back by popular demand, Miss Mrs. Kim Griffin, my wife, will be on with us again. And uh, I can tell you uh, that not only is she pretty, hallelujah, but uh, she has an amazing um, AY, live AY that you want to be a part of. Let me encourage all of you, be on tomorrow night to play this fun game um, that Kim has and uh, what you'll see is you'll have an opportunity to take this game to the next level and uh, tailor it to your particular uh, demographic or family. Um, and so be with us tomorrow evening um, with uh, with Kim Griffin. It's going to be um, phenomenal. OK, you don't want to miss uh, you don't want to miss that. And then we'll share with you uh, what our uh, weekend looks like on this coming Sabbath. Uh, we have um, Pastor Chelsea English. Um, who's going to be speaking for us. Uh, we also have um, Pastor Benji Ferguson, who is actually going to be leading our youth Sabbath school. And uh, yeah, listen, family, we're going to have a good time this coming weekend. And so we want you to be with us. We want you to stay with us. And uh, let's have fun together, uh, not only for the rest of this week, but uh, right through the weekend. We're going to have a good time right through the weekend. Hey, Pastor Hewlett, would you do me a favor, man? Will yeah. you pray for all of our families who uh, who are watching, those who are watching the live broadcast now, and those who will watch this the the, the rebroadcast that's gonna uh, you know connect with them later? Will you pray for all of those families? Will you do that for absolutely. us? Absolutely, absolutely. Let's have a word of prayer, Father. We just thank you for the privilege of using uh, this opportunity to reach out uh, far beyond our circles of influence, uh, far beyond any reach that we have in our localities. Uh, Lord, we just thank you for uh, being able to use this uh, to reach out to families into their homes. Lord, we're praying for families, Lord. We, Lord, we're, uh, and, and, and for lack of a better word, we're cooped up in the house, Lord. We're cooped up in the house and we're all, it's tight quarters and, and everybody's ready to get out. They're ready to go. They're ready to be active somewhere. Uh, Lord, you've given us this time. They've taken away all of the busyness uh, of life for us to be able to settle down one with another. So I'm praying for our families, Lord. I'm praying that each and every one of our families reconnects, that uh, our children are reconnecting uh, with each other, that our families are reconnecting, our children are reconnecting with parents, Lord, in a special way that they're learning even more things than they've ever learned before. And we ask that you would speed up that learning curve. You've already done it, Lord, where you've given us what we need in order to just connect together in one place. So Lord, we just pray that each family would be encouraged, uh, that each family would be hopeful, uh, that each family would come up and uh, uh, see the creative ideas that come from the NAD and the visions and uh, uh, leadership of uh, uh, Pastor Wood and Pastor Griffin and all those involved in the team that are trying to do something to kind of help our young people at home. So Lord, we ask that all of these ideas that have gone out and the ones that are, are to come, that Lord, you would continue to uh, allow these to be present in the home. And Lord, we pray for each of those families that may be experiencing someone they know who has gotten sick, who has uh, had an experience with this uh, disease, uh, COVID-19. And Lord, we just ask in a very special way that you would bring them peace, even, even in their situations where they're at. Uh, bring them hope, Lord Jesus, in a very special way. And Lord, we ask that we will continue to raise each and every one of our children, that they will continue to grow in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Let them not forget the way that you have led us in the past and let them not forget you. 
Father, we thank you again for the leadership who has done this and had the vision uh, to share through this opportunity. Bless our families, protect them and keep them now. Place a hedge of protection around their homes and their health. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you all for being with us tonight. Um, glad to see my good friend and colleague, Paco yes. McQuan. Pastor Paco, thank you for coming on, Pastor. Uh, thank you all again for being on with us tonight. And uh, we trust that you will be with us tomorrow night. We'll have an amazing time. And then we'll share with you tomorrow on what the weekend looks like. God bless you all. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Blessings. See you later. Thanks, Pastor Hewlett. Appreciate right. you, bro.